Hello friend, now we learn the assembly. In the assembly, we can assemble the different different parts. So for that, first we draw the different different part, then open it. Part, assembly, remove the use default template, MM assembly design, copy associated drawing, okay. Now this define the assembly window. These three are the different different function. First one is the assemble. This define the add the component to the assembly. It means what? We are already draw the component and we can add into the assembly window. Okay. This is the add a main inkin to the assembly. This define the create a component in a assembly window. Okay. Now first one add a component. We can already draw the part. Okay. So open the part. Okay. We can easily understand the assembly with the simple example. Okay. Now this define the one part. This define as a three view and this assembly has a also assembly front view, assembly top view and assembly right view. Okay. Now we can match the assembly front to front, right to right and top to top plane. Okay. This define the placement. In a placement, this is the constraint type. Okay. These are the different different constraint. Okay. First one is the mat, align, insert, coordinate system, tangent, point on a line, point on a surface, edge on a surface, fix, default. Now in a first component, we can apply the constraint as default. Okay. Okay. Now this define the show the component in a separate window. Okay. This define a component in a separate window. Okay. So component in a assembly window while specifying a constraint. Okay. Now press okay. Now first component is set. Now we can assemble the another part. So add a component, select the second part and open it. Now we can assemble this part on this on this part okay for this we can apply the different different constraint okay placement define first we can apply the mat okay mat means what this part surface and this part surface both are touch okay so first one we can mat the surface okay this surface mat with this mat with this surface okay now we can apply the another constraint this also is a mat this surface is mat with this surface okay now one last command is insert okay now you can see this these are the different different constraint as apply these are the insert with this command okay now this is fit on this part okay this define the fully constraint okay now press okay okay now select this part we can apply this part also in a bottom surface so we can select this part edit repeat okay now select this option and add a now select this option and add a component okay now first select this select this surface and add a component now we can see this surf 
this part okay now confirm okay now we can apply the one another component so open it now this is the shaft okay we can this key is over this key okay key way okay now we can set this part so for that first one is a insert this surface is insert with this surface okay now new constraint is align now this surface is align with this surface okay now another one new constraint is also align in this part this surface is align with this surface okay now we can apply the offset okay now okay you can easily see this part assemble with this surface okay now we can also add this component at the other side so select it edit repeat this all these features add a component so for that we can apply the insert first one select this add a component align and select this surface okay then confirm okay now we can add a last component key okay now we can touch this surface with this with this surface okay okay now this surface is met with this surface okay now this surface is also met with this surface okay now we can coincide it coincident okay okay now this define a fully constrained okay now we can apply the key same way we can add this component at the other side okay this way we can use the uh, assembly we can assemble the different different part okay Thank you.